Hey, this is Bob. Okay, it's uh, it's the weekend. I'm down here at Coco Palms, and I'm just going to kind of wander around here, show you what's been going on. Um, <laughs> destruction, that's what's been going on. But anyway, so we'll just wander around and see as the demolition continues of the Coco Palms. Okay. I'm starting off at the King's Pool. Okay. Okay. So here we are. This is the King's Pool. The, the King's Pool is the biggest pool at Coco Palms. And uh, they pretty much emptied it out. And then if you remember the King's Pool, the King's Pool was right adjacent to the uh, Flame Room restaurant, and it had an outdoor patio area too. Now they have removed that outdoor area. Uh, they will be coming back through here and taking, separating all the, the lava rock Okay, we're, we're looking over here now at the um, Shell Building. Look at this thing. Just a lot of it has just collapsed down into the first floor. Look at that huge wall. That was part of the second floor up there that just kind of came down into the first floor. Where? This is, look at all this, look at this pile here. This is all the rebar. I mean, this building was in, built incredibly strong. This is a lot of the rebar, and there's are piles and piles of rebar of steel here that this whole shell building was built with in all the cement. I mean, no wonder this thing has been sitting here for all these decades. I mean, it's just, oh my gosh. And you know, if I kind of squeeze in there, look at all that rebar. It's everywhere, it's everywhere. This entire structure, and you look at that wall, that floor over there, that's all rebar. No wonder this thing stood so long and so strong my god really really built well okay so i'm going to go down the steps here and i'm going into the flame room the flame room was kind of like a, a steak restaurant it was one of the five restaurants here and then right, right above it, okay, I'll get out here. Okay, right above it, those were the palm suites up there. And so this whole second story all along this entire building were the palm suites. And people just loved them because they could be in those suites which were not cheap, okay? And um, watch the torch lighting ceremony. I have a video I did years and years ago before the fire. And I filmed some of those palm suites. And I'll find that and I'll kind of edit it down a bit and, and I'll put it up there so you can see what these suites look like way back in the day, okay? So this was the flame restaurant and um, now they put all this bracing in here because they will be building up above it. Going to be doing some more restoration work 
and we'll go over here. And this, of course, like um, a lot of the restaurants here, were right on the lagoon. And that's why people loved it. And that's why people loved staying in the Palm Suites above. And when I find some of that old videotape, I'll show you what those Palm Suites look like. Oh my God, they were, they were gorgeous. Okay, so people could eat in the flame room here. And if you remember, there were uh, some beautiful murals in here. Uh, those are put, put away in storage now. And they were in here. And then, okay, right here. This was a dance floor. This is a parquet mahogany dance floor. You can see the mahogany. There was a small stage right here, okay? Right here against the lava rock wall. This is where Uncle Larry Rivera would do his, oh, I'm gonna <laughs> sneeze. Okay, excuse me. I went on a sneezing fit there. But on this stage at night, this is where Uncle Larry Rivera would do his, after the main show in the main dining room, he'd come in here by himself. And once in a while, Willie Carrillo, he'd, he'd come in and play with Larry. But he'd do a show called Nightcap with Larry. The drinks are on you. And that was right here on this stage. And people would uh, dance on this dance floor here. All made out of mahogany and a parquet design. So this will be, this will be restored. All this along here too was beautiful uh, lava. It's been saved to be put back in. And all this, all this along here is just covered up to protect it. And then um, we'll go in here. This was the, um, this was like the main dining room, okay? And it also was along the lagoon here. And they just call this the lagoon dining room. And they're protecting all this lava along here. Okay, the main stage where Larry and his family would do their show every night. That stage was right here. Also, okay, you can see the indentations where the stage was. And this is also where, if other people were here, like um, Bing Crosby and Elvis and all of them that used to come here, and Francis, all these people were here. They would perform with Larry up on this stage here. And then down along here, okay, the big thing here was the buffet. Oh my gosh. And there were buffet tables built into the floor. Okay, this was one of them right here. You can see the indentations and the drains. And here was buffet table number two. They had a great breakfast buffet. Elvis was a huge bacon eater and he would stack up his plate with <laughs> bacon. Okay, this is buffet table number three. And again, this again is right on the lagoon. 
Okay. Still lots of fish in here, tilapia. And you look down and you look at the other buildings. This is Ali'i 1 and Ali'i 2. And um, these will be the next big buildings to come down. And then they'll be rebuilt. And they're along here, they're along the, uh, the Queen's Pool and the Prince Pool. Okay, so the lagoon dining room. This will be all restored. It's going to look gorgeous, just like it did before. Okay, we leave the lagoon dining room. We go back in here. And um, this was the main kitchen. And this kitchen would serve the lagoon dining room. And it would also partially serve the flame room, even though the flame room did have some cooking uh, facilities in there to cook their steaks, etc. Then you go back here, and this was all stir storage. This is like the, oh, this was a big reefer in here. Um, Okay, there were some employee restrooms that sat up here. This is more storage. And this was also back, more storage back here. And of course, after the big fire in the lobby in 2014, this part of the floor just collapsed down here into the basement. That was the lobby floor up there. And this is, you look at the ceiling and look at, look at it's all black. I mean, this fire was big. This was a big, big fire. It took several days to get it out. And you can see all how all the paint is burnt from the fire burning above it. And it's just been like this uh, for years since the fire. Paint just peeling off. It's all just peeling off. Wow. Okay. We have had some uh, supposed artists Come in. They could use a little training. Yeah. And then back here, okay, we'll go through here. We're under the lobby now. That goes up to the lobby. This was the uh, employee dining room, right here. All of this. There used to be a wall there, but this here, this was the employee dining room. Okay. And then, of course, that big fire in 2014. The whole lobby came down. We got a lot of video of that. But you go up the steps and we were into what was the lobby. So this whole thing here was the lobby. And then this is the uh, the end of the shell building. And so that right there, what you're looking at is just collapsed. That's just part of the shell building that collapsed. It collapsed because they wanted it to collapse. It didn't fall on its own. They knocked it down. 
Okay, I'm, I'm about in the uh, second level here. Uh, the fire, the big fire in 2014 on July 4th. Okay, this direction were some palm sweets. However, the fire stopped in this area, right where we're standing. There were great big arches here. And uh, the bridge, the center bridge is right below us. You see the walkway. And there were great big arches. The, the holes for these arches are under these panels here. And the arches went to the center. And then right in front of this on the grove side was a huge um, count shell. Now this was made, handmade, out of fiberglass. Huge! It was huge! And it hung here for decades and decades. And then that fire came along on September um, pardon me, July 4th, 2014. And it caught that huge conch shell on fire. And it caught fire and it ended up down in the lagoon down there. And pretty, pretty much burned up. They had to throw it away. But okay, the fire stopped in this area. It didn't go this way. It did go this way. So more palm sweets were going, and they started along here. You see all this tile work? These were all the bathrooms of the palm sweets. And all this tile work from the bathroom in this end, uh, the tile work is uh, still here. And uh, the very first uh, uh, John Stinger, and he and his wife stayed in this suite, and they always remembered it. And whenever I'd film up here while the suites were still here, he remembered the very first one next to the arches was his. And so the towel from their restroom is still here. And I'm sure all this tile work will be removed. And they're going to rebuild all these suites up here. Um, I'm hoping they're also going to rebuild that beautiful conch shell. It was massive and it was great. And I really hope that they're going to rebuild it because it was beautiful. People just love looking at it. And so from up here, we're looking down at the the next buildings that will be taken down. And uh, the other pools down there, that little structure next to the Queen's Pool, that was called the Queen's Pool Bar and Grill. It's supposed to have the best hamburgers on the island. And then beyond that was the Prince Pool. So, okay. And we're seeing a whole bunch of palm trees back there. So, okay. That's, that's what we're talking about now. And uh, I, I'm going to look for them. I, you know, I've been filming stuff here for a quarter century or more. And uh, I'll find some of this that I'm talking about now that you can't see because it's gone. And find some stuff that I filmed all that stuff back in the day when it was still here. So you can see what was here then, what's not here now. And then when they rebuild, gonna see again what they're gonna build. Okay, aloha, love you.